Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is lovely to have you here. And it is a, oh, what day? Um, gosh, Tuesday. <laughs> lovely and sunny here and very, very blowy. So we're making a lot of noise, <laughs> a lot of windy noise blowing around the window. Um, the window's outside, so it's howling. It's not quite as bad as it sounds, but it is quite windy. Okay, so um, yeah, we're working on the Wings of Love kit, which is collage type um, on Etsy. I'm just fiddling with the <laughs> fiddling with the um, signature papers. Okay, which I've trimmed. I've just trimmed them top and bottom and side on the guillotine and folded them over. I have also brought out my very last, so I'm going to have to go on the hunt. Um, avocado dyed doily and one of my own tea dyed music papers and I've just grabbed a straw straw paper so that's it that's all I'm going to put in it it's going to have this isn't it from yesterday um, in the center and then we'll put pockets and things in it so that will be it what else have I right I found the ticking that I want to use um, yeah, I don't remember getting this, so I'm wondering if um, Tani sent me it because I know she's bought a lot of ticking. She was using it the other day, if I remember rightly. Yeah, so I have a feeling that she might have sent me that. If not, I don't know where I got it from. I might have got it in a pack, maybe, from... Yeah, I could have got it in the pack. I don't know. <laughs> from the antique place where I go. And yeah, I don't know about that, but it just appealed to me. And I know this came from the antique um, collector's place. So I don't know, maybe I got them together, I can't remember. I have brought with me the lovely cutouts from Violet. Thank you, Violet. I told you she sent me some dies, um, and they are they're useful, and, you know, just like lace on the edges of things. I brought some of my old coloured stamps, which I wanted yesterday, and I've just brought a small selection, or got out of the drawer, a small selection of butterflies. I also brought a couple of these labels, which are from Your Creative Studio. Um, yeah, from Tanya. I'm sure I've shown you those before. Um, and I printed out all these. So you saw these um, elements, these little decorative pieces, embellishments, whatever you call them. I printed them out um, two to a page. So I've got some smaller pieces for um, decorating with. Yep, so all, all the same as I have there, but you know, a lot, lot smaller. So we should be, I think, ready to go. So obviously I haven't made the cover, so we won't be sewing the, the signature in, but um, yeah, I don't want to, I don't know, I'll fold that in third I think like I did, or just just over a third like I did the um, straw paper, and then I may glue that side down as a, a pocket or something, we'll see, but there, it's all, it's all together, so we'll have about ten I think on that, about ten pages when we get it stitched in, which will be sufficient. Um, Right, so what we're working on today, more ephemera. So if you remember I had these, and I'm just grab some glue because I haven't got any out yet, and some glue paper. And what, all I've done is trimmed around them and uh, folded across the middle. And I'm going to glue them together so that when I cut them out, they will be a front and a back. So, you know, you can use them as like hinged. That's why the end, and then leaves them attached to each other like that. You know, you could, Either print them on thicker card or back them and use them as a hinged double uh, tag. I'm going to make them into double sided. There we go, got some double sided tags. So all I'm going to do is glue that and then leave them to um, to set during the video. To set, is that the word? Does glue set? I suppose it does to dry. And uh, yeah, then I'll cut them down when they're dry, not before, because they'll move about. Okay, let's get it off that, or you'll glue the, the outside of them. We don't want to do that. Yeah, lovely. And she's cleverly got a plainish one behind each patterned one as well, so a lot of thought went into it. Can you see how I'm, I'm not level at the bottom there? So, But I am level there. That's the bit that's going to count, I think. I might leave a bit extra on and just ink it. Okay, so that's going under under the mat. 
put the lid on that. Okay, so I want to make a, another couple of bits of ephemera today. What did I break? Right. So these pockets, one on white look and one on cream, because I, I had a white page in and it printed a page of white. Um, but they are both the same way. And I wanted one right and one left, as it were, slant. So all I did was I drew around this one. This was the one out of the kit that goes the other way. So those are the two in the kit. All I did was put them on a piece of the plain paper from the kit and cut round them. I mean, you don't even have to do that. You could just cut them out and gusset them, but I now have identical pockets. So they just want embellishing and we'll use some of those bits in the box to do that. Um, I've been making some of my little flowers. Where are they? I haven't embellished the middle yet, look, but um, you know, I do them out of the little love hearts and then I put a gem or something in the middle of them. I'm sure you've seen me do them before. I'll put them on there, you can have a look. Yeah, so I had my little love out punch out and I was punching in papers um, and I quite liked the way um, it looked, when it, the negative. And I had this, this piece on my desk, which I'd got out and I've done one on each corner and I thought, quite like that. <laughs> That's quite in fitting with the wings of love for my kit. So I thought I'll have to incorporate that somehow. So this is the first thing I'm going to do. And um, I had this this long tall forgotten I didn't cut it out excuse me side tuck tag uh, pocket whatever you might call it so I thought this might fit nice on here and it would make a nice like a fold out um, yeah flap whatever you want to call it I'm going to call it a fold out I think a journaling piece something a little bit different so it did fit I think yeah so what I was thinking was if I fold this over it's quite it is quite strongish thickish paper this now they don't quite meet but they're not far they're not bad um, obviously if you wanted to make one specifically like that you could punch them with the paper folded couldn't you wouldn't have to be a love heart either again yeah, I thought if I fold this up and put it on here and then stick the back of it to the page. It will open there for journaling and you'll be able to put a little tag or something in there. So let's let's do that because that's not going to take a lot of doing, is it? And some of these pockets we can put in and then embellish them at the end if we run out of time, can't we? So Neil has gone to work for his meeting, but it's not going to be as long. Well, he doesn't think it's going to be as long as originally anticipated, so. I saved my video for when he'd gone to work and now it's not going to be long. <laughs> so it may not be a very long video, um, but that's fine as long as I've visited you. Oops, let's get the ink out. I don't want dark ink on it, but I do want some ink on it. You fold it over, are you on show? You're on show a bit. That's because you didn't cut it very well. There we go. Yeah, so I, I went to the shop. Now we went to a local-ish shop, um, just a, a town, a small town, uh, probably 25 minutes down the road from us um, because we'd seen they had a sea salt shop in one of, you know, well, a section in one of the big department stores. So that's where I went for my, uh, my denim jumpsuit and the it was very poor when we got there. They had hardly anything. And whether they just started stocking, I don't know. She says, oh, we're getting stuff in every day, but they only had two racks and it wasn't, yeah, nothing like a sea salt shop at all. Very disappointing. So we had a nice cost of coffee and um, I looked around the other shops there. It's a town that we used to live in actually before we moved back into Scunthorpe. Well, we used to live in a village outside it and that was, that town was nearer to us than Scunthorpe. Uh, yeah, so we used to go there nearly every every week to do shopping and what have you. So yeah, it was nice to to go back to one of our old haunts. But yeah, I was very disappointed about um, about not getting my suit. Now I'm going to have a go at ordering it online, but that means you know I like to try them on. I have to try it on and return it and what have you if if it's not just what I want. But that will have to be. And then while we was there, Neil reminded me that we've got a wedding do coming up on the 18th of Feb. So I need to go and find something for that. So I'm thinking a nice, 
you know fairly posh summery dress so that I can wear it through the summer not just not just something for a special occasion and then because you never the special occasions just don't come up as often do they you know we very rarely go to weddings and do's like that I'm sorry to say anymore yes I like that so um yeah I've got my got my words hidden with my phone and I, I would like a word on there um where are those that I printed so we've got some mini ones on here let's look at these butterflies these fly rose and wing I think this because I've left a bit on it so yeah I think on his next days off we may be going to uh, Doncaster perhaps <coughs> which is you know a big big town bigger town than Scunthorpe for shops and things to uh, yeah, to find something to wear the only other thing I might do is order a few online and you know because if I'm ordering one thing something will have to go back won't it might order a few and have a a shop at home as it were <laughs> and then just send back what doesn't suit I suppose I could always do that if I can't find anything out in the shops you can't you can't find so much these days when you when you're shopping the I don't know if it's because they haven't had the turnover you know while I know we're we're quite a way out of Covid now you know staying at home and shops shutting but I think yeah I think it's it's affected the the turnover the sales and you know the new stock and what have you I'm guessing I just stopped because I was gossiping and trimmed that because it was annoying me okay so I don't think I want anything that colour on there so I'm not going with those I've seen this lovely blue lady which I do like but she's not going to stand out enough so I think I am going to dig out no I don't mind that one so much I think I'm going to dig out my uh, words I don't want a black one sorry I'm just cutting it out because I'm sure I'll be using it soon and then it's upside down isn't it that's quite nice um, oh it could be a belly band but I'm not sure it's big enough for anything to tuck in. Oh, it is if we have something small, although it is going over that gussety thing. No, I'll just put it down if I put it down. Did I ink it? Because I can on there, but I definitely want something up here. Let me just take my phone out of that drawer that it sits in. That's not these last couple of videos I've got my words out ready haven't I because they're in yep it's fighting me my filming lights in front of it is what I'm trying to say oh gosh right, let me put my phone back because it's timing me oh dear oh dear oh dear I <laughs> don't know what I did then have I paused it goodness me let me just cancel it sorry <laughs> Sorry everybody. Welcome to my world. Right. Um journal. Just give me a second or two. Face, that's quite nice. Can I just cut this out? Bear with me. So these were labels that I cut from a piece of wrapping paper that, um, oh, who sent me it? Caroline, that um, Dream with Caroline. I just like, it's got a very light sort of gray lilac-y background to it as well. So it might just be, I mean, it says never stop exploring, butterflies explore, don't they? All the flowers for the oh, do butterflies eat nectar? I presume they do. 
Also getting modelled up with bees. I think butterflies do too. Yeah, I don't I don't dislike that on there actually. So let's go for it. Now do I want this? I'm not sure about that now. No, I like that without it. Blue. See, it's always worth saving these things. <laughs> they always come in. Now I have to tell you. I got some gorgeous paper. Can I reach it? Yeah, I'll be able to show you. Hang on. <laughs> Excuse me to stop stop doing this and start nattering this a sec. Oh. Got some gorgeous paper yesterday and Neil came in from work with some lovely roses for me. Um, yellow roses, they're my favourite. I had them in my wedding bouquet. Whenever he buys me flowers, he buys me yellow roses. So just come home with some yesterday. It's a nice surprise. No, no special. Oh, that's ripping it. No special occasion or anything. Um, but yeah, he said just wait because he bought it while he was at work. He said, "Oh, wait while I go back to work and tell the girls that you were as, as equally interested in the paper that they came wrapped in <laughs> as you were the flowers." Bless him. It's like it's green on one side and it's like the brown paper lined on the other and it's real crinkly sorry probably driven you mad but yeah save everything you will see that again when i use it did i not ink in there yeah this can be nice on a page i think as a um a lovely journal spot and we can always embellish it whoops to be careful with those corners embellish the inside of it should we want once it goes down so once we build the journal it's going to be i think it's going to go together quite quickly because we're going to have all this ready aren't we that would be nice with a bit of something just seeing where those these oh yeah i like it the other way let me just have a look a nice colour isn't it? It's like a caramel. Well I was looking for something up there really wasn't I? I've just gone off at a, a tangent. I'm not sure about the craft. No but maybe down that side. Go on in. <laughs> Let me look at it in the camera. Oh you're a long way away. You're a long way away you seem to be. That better sorry yeah can't decide it's a possibility maybe some lace oh <laughs> spring loaded maybe something some lace down there or something sticking out of there oops when we put it in you know like that oh yeah lace down there would be nice let me just double check that i haven't got any here because i'm thinking i'd like some pink I only want it thin as well. I've got some white. It's going to be one of those days where I just go off playing. Do we ever have any other? Mm, maybe. I think it wants to be a bit more anti antique coloured, you know, a bit distressed coloured. So, yeah, we'll think about that as well. So that's the envelope that I put together from the kit. Those are the pieces we made yesterday. Okay, so they're all ready to go in. Um, I still didn't make that other one up yet, but I might. Oh yeah, now when I got all the other envelopes out, I got this one out as well. And um, it's like a mottled colour. Just wondering what I've done with me. Lost them, you see. <laughs> my pages. They have, I've lost them. Oh, there they are. I moved them to get the lace. Yeah, because this colour, if you look at the colour palette, I mean, that pink one went, this one didn't it, but this one does as well. So I'm thinking, you know, to stick in rather than put in the, yes, what, signature, rather than sew it in. Um, yeah, and then this fell on it, which I quite liked. Isn't that nice on there? So I don't know, let's have a look what else we might. That's nice as well. So we'll probably stick that down on, on a page. Go no, that way, won't we? Yeah, stick it down that way so that we can put something in there. I suppose we could open that side. Yeah, let's stick the whole thing down. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud, but I know some of you like like the, to hear the thought process. 
Yep, so I'll just stick this edge down, we'll open it the other side. That's a pocket. Well, any side doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, I think that side's better open. So I'm having, an, I'm having a conversation with myself about it already. Let's do it now. Oh, oh I thought I'd finished and I had not know what I did to the corner. Right, let me cut that down a bit again, because that will drive me nuts. You'll have to excuse this in your face a minute. Let's have it nice and square. That's it. It probably needed making a little bit thinner anyway, so. And yeah, it's quite a thick envelope, so it's, yeah, it's plenty thick enough. And I'm going to put a little divot on it. So I, it also reminds me which side up it's going. That's it. I do love playing with envelopes just seems to be my thing at the moment. Oh, I've got a lot of them, maybe that's why, I don't know. But Oops. Okay, quite like that. Now they are tone on tone, I know they are, but you know there is a place for that. I don't want, I don't want to make it too pink. Um, not sure about that now. Let's have all these over that I've just printed out and cut down and see what they do. I do like that on there. Didn't do that very well, did I? Trying to keep the corners rounded, but oops. Oh, there's a smaller version of that. Oh, there's a smaller version of that. No, don't like that on it. Don't think I like that either. Right, let's have a look what else we've got then. So we've got a picture of a fairy on it, so I don't necessarily want a um another being. I'll probably go with a flower. No, not that one there. I'm thinking a butterfly on it. Somewhere because obviously it says butterflies. There she goes. <laughs> it didn't take long. Although I'm, I must be halfway through, so maybe it did. Tearing. Can hear Mr. Next Door rattling his door. Now I've decided to have that one over now. Yep, so I might go the whole hog and tear the lot. Can't leave a tiny bit on. Love the flowers in this kit, the images of the flowers. Oh, I'm trying to pull that off. It's not what you think it is. So I've got a lot of angles going on, but I still fancy a butterfly on there. Oh, it's staying on the tone so that yeah the only pop of colour is that red flower and I'm wondering if I'd like that with a bit of colour behind it and I could do something that colour now I'm just thinking I had a scrap oh dare I drag this scrap box out not really it is literally overflowing oh it's too close for you to see but oh like this is a piece of scrap that I was quitting some. Oh gosh, it was heavy. Love hats out of. I might have to get a bigger scrap box, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, it's kind of a 
don't know what sort of paper it is it's come from tanya but it's lovely paper let me mini ruler around see if i can rip it around there because i don't want to waste the the christmas cracker ruler yeah i don't know if it's parchment or no i don't know what it is it's very it's very crisp i don't think it's an old paper it's a new yeah it is lovely it's a nice color that isn't it yeah perfect who would have known okay let's build it i think i might need to re-ink that mind i do keep leaving the lid off it i'm terrible for it so it's probably my own fault so which one which do i want on first this one i think right in the corner so my throat's fine I'm not coughing very much but I am still a bit breathy you know when I go up and down the stairs or talk a lot you can hear me taking a big breath there um, oh. go in there yeah. so I'm, I'm not really really ill but I do just feel yeah I feel like I've got a bit of a bug chesty bug which I don't usually get normally it is my throat or my um, sinuses I don't usually feel you know problems in my chest so I hope that's not a sign of things to come which way do we want you just on there have a look yeah oops nearly inked it instead of glued it then so yeah I'm not doing too bad I have to say the ride out this morning because it's you know because it's the next time town we have to go through countryside it was beautiful it was a beautiful ride the, um, the sun was really hot through the car windows it was windy but you know inside the car that didn't affect well it didn't affect me <laughs> I was blowing the car around a bit yeah it was really a really lovely cheerful ride definitely made me think that uh, spring is almost here ah let go okay um, yeah I want something on the back of there just some paper right let's have a look at the paper from the kit down you go <laughs> I've got some of the green that I've cut those out of but that's not so these are my scraps that I've been cutting into but I'm wondering about some of this on the back of it what do we think yes oh I'm hiccuping excuse me I've got misprint on the back I don't want to misprint my ink ran out It's supposed to tell me when ink's running low. Uh, it never has done yet, this printer, which I've definitely had over a year now, I believe. Yeah, I have. I'll just get rid of all that and then if I back something or whatever on it. Oh, it on the wrong. So shall I just mat it? I think I will. Seems the best solution oh there's a butterfly trying to escape oh I can't see where you are where are you there. I'll do it up there I can always take a bit off can't I if I cut it too short can't really add any on yeah good call because we're nearly there <laughs> it's nearly spot on okay i'll just 
trim that ever so slightly get rid of those rough edges we should just about be the right size I know these scissors look enormous don't they when I've got the camera so close yep super so that's another piece ready to go a couple of um, pockets decorated I think and we're all but there a couple of pockets and um, a belly band that's what we need and then we'll be ready to next Monday put the whole thing together I'll probably off camera back some of the um, journal card pieces you know the bigger ones that um, the original sized ones as as journal cards mm, we're nearly empty now glue wise nearly but not quite that's lovely that damask paper some lovely antique well like the antique photo actually tones in it yeah, I like that so that's just going to oh did I put it on upside down I think I probably did you know it's a good job it's damask paper because it doesn't show but yes I think it probably should have been the other way up that I left a little bit unstuck there as well a bit high up at the top never mind it's down and I just want a label which are in a new box aren't they so now I don't know where they are <laughs> Oh, up there, up high because it's a bigger box. Come here. Oh, another one fell. I ought to get them down this one. Oh, that's not the. I made that mistake last time, didn't I? Wrong box. They're in the box, Tanya sent me. So where's that? Hmm. Oh, fiddle sticks. I don't know how I can lose boxes like that. It's a big box, but I cannot see it. Okay, we'll put a label on there next time. Got another piece. Oh, my butterflies. Did I whack them out of there? Yes. Okay, let's just do a couple of these pockets then. Let's do these two. And these should be fairly easy because I'm thinking some of these smaller pieces. Let's just ink round. We'll just decorate them very prettily and easily. Okay. What did I put on the other one? Oh, I didn't use them, did I? So I've got fly and wing if I want. Maybe. We've got ballerinas, two different ones. Oh, we've got flower oh, butterflies. At least my smaller ones are still quite big. That lovely one, I love that. So, where was Miss Ballerina? Okay, here we go. <laughs> nibble, nibble. Oops. She's got a leg right out there, right to the edge of the paper. Come on, we're nearly there. Thank you. They've both got butterfly wings. This one's a deeper blue. She's got her hands right to the edge of the paper. They're lovely images, aren't they? Not seen these images anywhere before. Oh, sorry if I was talking quiet then. Oops. I think I might have taken a foot out of off both of them. <laughs> foot loose and fancy free dancers, that's what they are. <laughs> okay. So I like them. Are oh, we going to put a word or something behind them? Uh, I don't want to put a flower about some of these stamps, seeing as we've got them out, we've not used them. Oops. 
We want little teeny tiny ones, don't we? Right, this one would be nice with a blue one. Did I have a blue one? That's blue. What colour are you and your blue? Okay. Little tiny blue one and... Well, you've got blue on as well, actually. Oh, that way up. So what we're going to put on with the stamps, because we need another thing. We need three things. I really, really need my... Uh, Labels, what have I done with them? Okay. I'm getting an oh, I see them, I see them. Getting annoyed with myself, I was going to say. Yeah, I keep sort of half tidying up and then not finishing. And uh, there you go. Yeah, and so I don't know where everything is. Right, I'm still looking some pink lip. Well, I'm not looking for them. I've got some on the way. I just need to print them out. That's a nice tiny one. Yeah, they want teeny tiny ones, don't they? So perhaps we need to look in the bottom. That's a lovely teeny tiny one. Ooh, teeny teeny tiny. Right. Yeah, I'm easily impressed reminded myself of that. Anything else? Tiny. Tiny and colourful is what I'm after now, but I don't think I have. And like I say, previously I could make my own, that's a nice one. Right. I've got this. don't know what's happening here. I need to sort my table out as well. stamps aren't they so they definitely need the label over the top of them my big hands for such teeny tiny little okay right do I need any book page or anything behind them I think there's enough going off to be honest on there so let's see what we can do Royal Highness's home. Oh, that still feels a bit close. Never mind. We'll have to remember it's got a tag. It's going to have a tag in it as well, which will. Uh, whoops. We'll also change the look of it. on the very edge of there. Don't go quite as far in. There, that's better. I'm still here. <laughs> My throat's getting a bit dry now to be honest. So you know where I'll be heading. While it's uploading, oh, cup of tea. That's a bigger, bigger label. I've got a brown one of these to do as well, haven't I? And then, uh, yeah, they may not all go in, but I've got a choice. One of these, I'll just do the, the cream backed one for now, I think. So. Um, I'm going to have a flower on this one. Is that the flower I want on it? 
think it is. I love this. This is going to be made into a journal card in the bigger. Here it is. The bigger version. Excuse me, hiccuping. I might tear one of those words down and put it behind this one instead of the the little cluster. We don't want them all the same. I'm going to tear it all the way around. Just fits, just lovely. Oh, lock rooms would go nice in there. I don't have to tear it down, do I? I'll just go on. Plenty of that on it. Right. Better put that on first, I think. You can see that purple on the back where my ink ran out. Luckily I found it so I could cancel the print. Is it about there? Yep. Just the teeniest tiniest bit off there. There's a beautiful little butterfly that I didn't want to lose. Oops. Lovely. Oh, they were quick to make, weren't they? Once I once I got those clusters made on the first ones. Oops. What did you do that for, Denise? The glue's nearly nearly dried up because there's so little left in it. Didn't ink that round, did I? What's she telling me? Okay. It's so beautiful out there. I think we might have the back door open while I'm down there getting organised for tea for Neil coming in. Um, what else was I going to do? There's one more thing. Did I say that I brought these? So I brought these two pockets out. I'm just going to leave them in the in with my others. Um, these were die cuts from Violet, thank you Violet. Um, you know, and then if suddenly I decide I want some pockets, I've got some, some ready to go. Yeah, this was going to be my belly band, but I want something to put it on. And then I've still got one of these. I was just wondering, because I made these smaller, if I would have something. I mean, I'm going to use that as one of those, but I do love it. If you just put her on there. Now I've printed it, might as well. You never know when you want a pocket filler, do you? Goodness me. Forgot. <laughs> Forgot. There we go. As long as I do that side, the rest can be done. Um, I'm going to leave space at the bottom for a, a word, I think. Well, that might have one of my, one of the black words from, um, yeah, the last kit, the gentleman kit from Nanine and Tanya. Lots and lots of words. No, it wasn't the gentleman's kit, my mistake. It was the uh, Midnight Meadows kit. Got lots of words in. Were they beige? Some beige and some black, or some white and some black? Yeah, I think they were beige. Let's see if I can reach them. I know I'm nearly out of time. Oh. Mm, no, we're not where I was expecting them. Oh, where are they? They are. They are. I've got them. Oh, <laughs> I've got my legs stuck. Oh, I'm in a state. These graceful songbird cherish dream. Too many to choose from. Right, we've got one there that says love, which it's wings of love, isn't it, the kit, so. A bit small, 
in fact I might just tear it and ink it I'm not going to just going to put a halo around it yep that's it I'm not going to put it on anything I'm not going to back it just a nice simple word I can hear myself breathless and all I did was turn around and reach for something so oh that's cute isn't it a little cutie yeah now I might even put some of these bits that are left in it but for now that one's going to be backed like I say for now that's it okay so what did we make let's clear the decks everybody back 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 <laughs> that's all embellishing again today wasn't it so we did three pockets a sort of matching pair and that one did that quickly didn't we this lovely envelope which is now a pocket now if you're going to stick it down why did you do that i could hinge it in couldn't i was you thinking that when i was making it yeah i could hinge that in <laughs> silly girl um and these were from last time weren't they yep they were all from last time and this lovely cutie which will be a pocket which we need to tag and some journaling space so we need to make a tag for that because there won't be one that fits and we'll need to make a tag for that and then these i think will have one of these in them each okay i hope you enjoyed watching thank you so much for playing with me and keeping me uh, company while i did that i will be back with this next monday so i will hopefully have the signature sewn in by then so we can play properly because i'd like to have it finished by next tuesday and um tomorrow is the beginners we're back with the beginners series so yeah a different journal again tomorrow i'm mixing it up okay thanks so much i hope you have a lovely lovely day and i will see you all soon bye for now <laughs>